Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across an issue. This is that your computer might have been incorrectly detected as being outside the domain network, and you would likely come across this when attempting to use direct access on a Windows 10 Enterprise computer. So basically, direct access allows computers to connect to remote users without using a VPN. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just off on the Start button one time. Type in Internet Options. Best match, go back of Internet Options. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the Security tab. And then you want to left click on where it says Local Internet. And then select Sites. You need to make sure you uncheck the first two options here underneath where it says automatically detect internet network. You want to uncheck where it says include all local sites not listed in other zones, as well as include all sites that bypass the proxy server. And once that's done, go ahead and select OK to save that. And now select apply and OK. So I'd recommend going ahead and seeing if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can attempt would be to go ahead and open up the star menu. Type in REGEDIT. Best match to go back to Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab, select Export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to an easy to access location on your computer that you won't forget it. And just select save once you've done that. And if you ever need to restore your registry back, you just would left click on the file tab and then select import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now that you have done that, we're going to begin and expand the HK current user folder. So go ahead and just double click on that. Double click on the software folder. Double click on classes. Should be a local settings folder. So just scroll down a little bit. Right here. And I'm going to go double click on that. Should be a software folder under that. You want to expand that. Microsoft, expand that folder as well. And then Windows, expand that. I'm just going to take a quick moment to pause and just say that if you need to pause the video or take note of the file path that we're going under, you can see it at the top of our registry editor screen here. Each backslash you see is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. So getting back on track, now that we've expanded the Windows folder, we're going to do the same for the current version folder. Should be an app container folder under that, you're going to go expand that. Should be a storage folder, again expand that one as well. And now you want to look for something that says Microsoft.MicrosoftEdge. So I'm just going to make this a little wider here. And you see it is right here. So not too far from the top here. So again, Microsoft.MicrosoftEdge. And then it has an underscore 8-W-E-K-Y followed by about seven or eight additional characters. So now double click on that. And if you scroll down, there should be something that says Microsoft Edge. Double click on that. And now you want to look for something that says tab proc config right here. So again, tab proc config. And anything on the right side that looks like your IP address, you just want to go right click and then delete it. So I'm just doing an example there. But if you had any items in here that had IP addresses, you just would right click on it, delete it, close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and that should be about it at that point. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.